Hi, how are you today? This is Terry from Knitting101.org. This is a video that we posted on the Facebook page, uh, Knitter's Helper. Uh, this is a cast-off video, and if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to follow up with uh, email or contact with the Facebook page, and I'm just going to get going with show, showing you how to cast off. You knit two together. Okay, and then which results in one new stitch. So again, you take, and then you take that new stitch, put it back on the left needle, and then again, you will knit two together. Knit, take the, the stitches off the left needle, and which results in a new stitch on your right needle. Take that new stitch that's on your right needle and place it back on the left needle. And repeat, so knit two together. And take it off, you have a new stitch. Put it back on your left needle. Knit two together. Oops, and get my yarn here. You have a new stitch. That new stitch goes back onto your left needle. And again, knit two together. With that new stitch, again, repeat. Knit two together. which results in this new stitch. Take the new stitch, place it back on the left needle, and you do this each and every stitch across the entire row. So you can imagine if you're knitting uh, a sweater, and may maybe some of you are knitting sweaters, 300 plus stitches uh, doing the exact same thing to cast off. One, it's necessary. Yes, it's tedious but you'll be very happy with the result. It'll be a beautiful, clean edge. Of course, that would be a top-down sweater that you would be casting off in that manner. Let's see here. So again, knit two together. And it matters not whether you are making a toy or a doll or socks, a sweater, a hat. This cast off is a lovely catch. It's, it's just a wonderful, cast off for any project that you are trying to finish. It gives you a beautiful clean edge. It has a little bit of, a little bit of stretch to it and that's what, you, that's what you'll want in many cases. You want that give and this, this two stitch uh, cast off does exactly that. So I have a few more left knitting as hopefully you've been following along. So you have that new stitch Put it back on your left needle. Oops. Knit again. And as you've noticed, when I put that new stitch back on, sometimes I pull on the yarn. And it's okay to pull on the yarn, but you want the yarn to hug the needle, the stitch to hug the needle, but not strangle the needle. So when you do pull, just Pull accordingly, not too tight, not too hard, because you know your stitch is not going anywhere. Okay, and put this back on. And the last stitch, knit together, and it results in this same stitch on the right needle, but it's also the very last stitch. Whenever you're casting off, no matter what size or number of stitches you're using, you are casting off, you will always result or end with one single stitch. That is the last stitch. Put that stitch back on the needle. Take your yarn, you'll cut it off. I usually cut about 18 inches off so I know what I'm working with and then I can cut even shorter uh, when I'm ready. But I, in this case, I've already pre-cut. So wrap your needle. And what I just did is you have that last stitch that's on your needle, and then you do what's called, if you're making lace, or if you're familiar with making lace, 
a Y-O on a pattern is yarn over. So you're going to yarn over the needle, and I'll do it again. So it's pretty, it's exactly what it states. You take the yarn and you bring it over the needle. That's referred to, called a yarn over. So again, yarn over, where my index finger is, that's the yarn over, where this, my finger is now, that's that last stitch after casting off. Pinch the last stitch after casting off. I'll keep my yarn over in place. And you're going to take the last stitch that you had um, after casting off, and you're going to scoot it over your yarn over, and you're going to bring it to the tip of your needle and over the tip, leaving only the yarn over on the needle. Bring your needle towards the ceiling, pull your yarn that you've cut at the end, pull it through the loop, there you go, and then pull tight. You can finish accordingly. You can get a, um, I would get um, a needle and then sew it in. And you always want to sew from top to bottom. You do not want to sew into the project because you want to allow, so when you're sewing, you're, you're going to sew down this row. And that allows you to, uh, for, the pro for the project that you're working on, it allows you to continue to have stretch and movement. But there you go, that's your cast off row. It's a nice clean cast off. It gives you a nice clean edge, it's even, um, it's quite nice. If you have any questions, feel free to um, Facebook um, me uh, through the Knitters group and, uh, and or email at uh, classes at knitting101.org. The website is knitting101.org and I'm Terry. Hope that you have a lovely day and I look forward to your questions. Ciao for now.